Welcome to the Flat Track Factory. In today's video, we're going to help the rider get to the racetrack, line up, and take their first green flag to become a racer. First, let's watch about 10 seconds of a flat track framer slide into a quarter sideways. Why? Why not? Stick around. There are a few assumptions and caveats to even have this discussion. One is that the racer to be knows how to ride and they have access to a motorcycle that runs and some transportation and some gear. I will touch on a few of those, but really um, those are other topics. In fact, I've covered them before in other videos on the Flat Track Factory channel. I'll put the links in the description and you can go take a look at those at your leisure. But it, as far as gear goes, the video that I have, my opinion, of course, uh, debatable, is it to totally right? No, will I add to that as time goes on? Yes, of course, but uh, it's a discussion point somewhere to start, and that's where I started. Um, the only thing that I didn't address in, in that gear video that I can think of right now is your shield or goggles are going to fog up, and you need to make sure that you have uh, a way of handling that. So uh, that will be addressed when I talk about some, some equipment and chemicals. Uh, so take a look at the gear video. I also have a uh, toolbox video. You could take more, you could take less. I'm going to uh, recommend that you take a, a well-maintained motorcycle to the racetrack for your first time and don't touch it. Um, so uh, the toolbox video is a nice aside. Really, the, most of the channel um, is tuned towards somebody who wants to get started racing or the, or the newer person. Not sure how that happened, but that's kind of what it is so far. And uh, mainly I just want to make uh, racing more accessible. So if you have any questions about that sort of stuff, I'm always happy and that's what this video is about. Well, let's talk about um, taking just your, your, your bare minimums. This is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna say the motorcycle, all of your gear, uh, uh, just some limited tools and uh, a chemicals crate. That's gonna be uh, your invisible glass or your Windex and then your no fog for the inside of your shield, some rags, paper towels, and you know, just some basic lubes and cleaners. That's gonna be just, just kind of a super uh, minimalist way to get to the track. So gather together that. Uh, next thing that I think that you should try to gather up for your first race is a helper or a friend or somebody else who's gonna race with you. You really need somebody at the track there uh, with you. Those of us that have been racing a long time, sometimes we can get away without taking a friend because and we know the community and we have friends. You'll make them. Uh, you won't be able to help yourself to, to make friends in this community, so you'll get one. But the first time you go, you need somebody uh, there to um, kind of devote, devote themselves to uh, just kind of get you through the day because it can be a lot the first time. The next key to successfully becoming a racer is finding the race and digging into the particulars. So find an organization. Internet's a great source. Um, you know, social media platforms, you can kind of search for flat track or flat track racing, um, come up with all sorts of uh, places in your region. And uh, I'll just assume you're pretty good at interneting if you found this video. So find, find that, then uh, track down the organization's rules and class lists. Study that. Uh, big, big uh, bone of contention in racing is always uh, people want their motorcycle to race in the class that they want to race it in. It doesn't work like that. Uh, it's they have the classes, and your motorcycle goes in, you know, two or three of those, and those are the classes for you. So, take a look at those rules, and take a look at the uh, class structure. Then look at the schedule of events. You probably should print this out and write this down in multiple places. You're going to look at this constantly to try to figure out where in the event that you are. So uh, a little bit of research goes a long, long way. Dig in to the rules, the class structure, and the schedule of the event, which sort of leads me into another one. Uh, another tip is maybe go to a race and watch and study, imagining that you're involved, where you could sit back and not have all of the stimulation and excitement and anticipation of the event uh, swirling in your head just by checking it out for a while. Uh, just go up and talk to some people. Look for some of the silverbacks of the sport. Um, talk to them. They're a real friendly group of people. Maybe even offer up some volunteer work 
to, um, you know, just be kind of an entry level helper uh, mechanic type uh, person. You'll probably be given a rag to clean some wheels and uh, just being around racers who have done this for a long time, you can know when to get excited and when not to and when to relax and when to pay attention and uh, all these sorts of things that uh, just take years of figuring out the hard way. Uh, if you are a helper for somebody and just spent your time observing the event, you'd come up, come away with uh, a lot of information for, uh, for free. Probably have a good time doing it too. So now we've found a race near us. We've got the motorcycle, we've got all our gear, we've got some tools, we've got our chemical crate ready to go, we got our helper, and uh, we've, we've signed up. We signed up ahead of time online, right? Always pre-enter. This will make your life so much happier the first time you go to sign up and there's a line 90 people deep. Uh, that's worth the price of admission alone. So just uh, definitely go ahead and do that. After all that's done, then you're ready to go to the track. Or are you? We're going to get the bike ready to go the weekend before the race weekend. It's going to be ready to go on the, on the single rail trailer on the back of your 76 VW Bug, in your buddy's pickup truck, in a van, uh, on a loaner or in your buddy's race rig, whatever the case is, it's going to be ready to go the week ahead of time. Why do I preach this? I have a video about this too. Because inevitably, Murphy's Law will take over and your stuff will not be ready and you'll be thrashing and it distracts you. You're going to have enough to think about getting ready for your first race. Uh, enough anticipation and excitement and uh, night before Christmas and all that sort of stuff. You don't need to have the distraction of your bike not running, chain not tight, tire pressure's not set, gas not full. So we're gonna gather all of this ready, uh, uh, all this stuff up and get it ready ahead of time and then have the bike ready to go on the track the night before the race. So you can get to the track and it's good to go. Last minute checks of the gas, turn the petcock on, check your tire pressures, that's it. No working on the bike at the track your first time. There's my opinion of how to have a successful, safe, fun transition from rider to racer. Let me know in the comments below what you think I missed. About this time, if you're still watching, YouTube's gonna pop up some various videos from the Flat Track Factory channel that it thinks you might like in a subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, lots of boring reasons, kind of crazy things that go on behind the scenes, but uh, that helps the, this type of content be visible and ultimately get to more uh, riders that we want to become racers. Thanks for watching.